guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We are super excited to be here today because we are coming at you with a practical and fun craft. Waste Not Wednesday at its best. I know. I feel like this is when we, it's our time to shine, Zeb. <laughs> um, in case you guys don't know, uh, Utah experienced a 5.7 earthquake this morning. We are about 30 miles from the epicenter. Everything is fine. All right, checked on the cameras, the stock in the back room for our warehouse is great. So your orders will still be shipping from the website. Um, do uh, keep Wendy in your prayers. She works for us and she was right pretty much within a few miles of the epicenter yeah, she was close. of the earthquake. She's okay, just, you know, frightened dogs and such. So we are excited to be here. Um, so you'll notice that Zeb has a five gallon bucket. Five gallon bucket, so many uses you can do with these things. So we, we're, we're kind of, uh, you know, it's a fun waste out Wednesday, but at the same time, we're like, hmm, 72 hour kids. It's practical, <laughs> especially with things going on. And with an earthquake, you're actually thinking about like natural disasters, things like that. So if you haven't done so already, make sure that you copy this video to share it with all of your friends, because this is not just going to be crafty. It's also going to be practical. This bucket actually came from the farmhouse. We used it to haul out, uh, debris if you watched any of our farmhouse videos where we were doing demolition this has been in good use and we've already sanded the outside yeah. now i'm going to give you a little bit of a background as to what the bucket is going to be used for in case of emergency you should always have 72 hours worth of supplies a spare change of clothes copies of important um documents like your birth certificate wedding certificate things like that and a five gallon bucket should be able to fit enough supplies for one person. So it's great if you just need to grab that bucket, throw it in your car and get to whatever the shelter is, whether it's an earthquake, a tsunami, um, hurricane season, whatever. We're gonna make the bucket cute and then we're also gonna show you how you can turn it into a stool because a lot of times when you guys go to shelters and whatnot, there's not a lot of places to sit. So it's easy to haul out. You can fit enough stuff for 72 hours. It'll fit in your car nicely and it gives you a place to sit. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, we did sand it. It gave it a little bit of texture when we sanded it, but that's okay. It's gonna give our paint something to grip to. So a lot of people do 72 hour kits in backpacks and I have that as well, but you know, the bucket seat is invaluable when you need a when you need to rest. Mariah's here with Carter. That's our nephew. Hi, Carter. Hey, what's I, up, Carter? I want you to come to our house too. We miss you. <laughs> Carter is uh, four years old, almost five, and he loves Aunt Jamie and Uncle Zeb's house. He they come visit us a few times a year, and then we have lots of little boys running around because Mariah has three boys. All right, so I'm painting this with DIY apothecary. We want our bucket to stand out in the crowd. That's right, because when you're in that emergency shelter, you got to know which bucket is yours. It's kind of like when you're at the airport and you like tie a ribbon to your luggage. If you have yours DIY, you're going to be like, oh, that apothecary bucket, that's mine. <laughs> so we're going to be painting it up with apothecary. As soon as that starts to dry, we'll get started on the lid. And in true Waste Not Wednesday fashion, obviously the bucket is used. Um, and I grabbed my bin of scrap fabric. I'm going to show you what I keep at my house. We have just tons of little scraps. We'll see, what we, we'll see if there's even enough to cover a seat. There's Some of them are small. I'll, I'll bring my bucket. And now I know some of you guys are going to be like, that's not a lot of fabric if you sew. But I pretty much only upholster. So I have lots of bits and pieces in here. I wish I had enough of this fabric, but I don't think... I might. Uh, we might see if but it'll fit. This is cute, but this one's thicker. Will it fit on our disc? I feel this, like is this is just a better. piece of plywood that I cut round to fit on top of the lid so if, that we can upholster it easy and the bucket can still seal up. If you don't have plywood, consider using a couple rounds of cardboard. You could cut that out, hot glue them together, and that would be good. You would probably want to put something between the cardboard and like where the bucket indents just for support but you can absolutely do this craft with cardboard instead of wood because i know some of you guys don't have access to plywood or power tools so in a pinch cardboard will work again we're i think we're going to use this fabric out of our scrap bag because it's a duck cloth so it repels water and it's going to be a little bit more durable than just like your standard cotton 
In here I also have a bunch of like trim <laughs> and random things for uh, crafting. So I'm actually gonna leave this bucket here because I think this will be good. We're gonna leave this one in the shop because the shop doesn't have a 72 hour kit and often people are here and you never know. Yeah, we actually this morning on our way to the shop after the earthquake, I went ahead and got into preparedness mode because that's my jam. And we have a awesome neighbor right across the street from us. Her daughter actually works for us and they are going to be our emergency shelter. So if there's ever a disaster and employees are working, they will know where they can go, where there would be more supplies and somebody to help them. And shout out, they are small business owners and they do printing of all kinds and they ship. So when this video is no longer live, we'll drop the link below, but their business is called CPS Graphics. If Caitlin's on and you want to Google the website, Caitlin, you could drop that below. But I talked to her this morning and she said they were doing well, just working on finding ways to continue to keep their business open. And I asked if there was anything I could do because they were doing us a favor by being our safe house for the shop. And she just said um, that they can ship everything they make. So we'll make sure to drop their website below. It's CPS Graphics. Karen says, wow, earthquake. Lynn just joined. Why an emergency bucket? Because we had a 5.7 earthquake this morning. Shook our beds. Everything's good. Caitlin actually um, messaged us the footage of the shop. Yeah, you can see the like. You can see things shaking. Like things shaking around on the the security cam video. I thought for sure that we have mirrors that are just leaned up against the fireplace. I would have thought they would have fell, but they were fine. But Zeb has this postcard display that he stamped postcards and that was shaking a little and we have this one mirror that's like right by the um the front and it's hanging and you can kind of see it shaking a little bit so anyways also, you that's know, this why this is just going to end up being a fun stool too you know yeah. you want a bucket stool if you don't care about emergency preparedness because you're watching this like months from now like you could totally just take the handle off this and make it a cute stool for storage because who doesn't need storage or like camping or whatever, you know, you could be that fun person at the at the campsite. Yeah, like, hey, <laughs> my stool is cuter than your school. You could totally use this for camping. Put your like uh, flashlight and all that kind of stuff in there and then take it with you when you go camping and it's all in one place. All right, I got that painted. We're gonna let that dry up. It's, it's Jamie's turn now. She's going to uh, do some hot glue upholstery. We're gonna use hot glue on this because I'm going Mariah to- Mariah actually... says take this off while you paint that bad boy. Does it come off? Yeah, they come up, but they're hard to get on, and it's already, you know, it's done. I'm done. It's cool. All right, you do have <laughs> a drip there, I think. It'll wipe right off the metal. I'm just making sure I haven't missed any questions. Also, cute toy storage for kiddos is what Karen says. Oh, yeah. So that's awesome. Um, let's see. Is Wendy on here? Somebody said, hi, Wendy. Oh, Wendy Malini is good morning her first time. If you guys are new, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button because we go live every Wednesday for Waste Not Wednesday at 10 o'clock Mountain Time and we show you what to do with junk like this bucket. All right, Jamie, Next. let's get this upholstered. Okay. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do some stenciling on this in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. We got some new stencils we're gonna be oh, using. Sorry, I'm gonna move that over there. I'm just gonna set this to the side while it dries for now. <laughs> oh, it looks like Odelia is on here. Hey, hey, Odelia. She is holding down the fort at home. Okay, so I need some batting. Emergency toilet, yeah. They they make a kit for these five gallon buckets for that. That's right, an emergency <laughs> toilet and then somewhere to sit afterwards. <laughs> Depends on how hard it was it's to the use the best toilet. Waste not Wednesday ever. Because <laughs> a toilet is waste, so waste not, you know? Just saying. All right, what, what fabric are we doing on this? Whitney says, is this a keep or a sell? This is gonna be an emergency bucket that we keep at the shop in case anybody is working and they need supplies. So we're gonna get it all filled up and ready for our employees because you never know. You know, some people think emergency preparedness at home, but you also need to think about it at your place of work too. Yep. Okay, they said use a pool noodle around the rim for a toilet. There you they go. They have those at the dollar store, we'll have to grab one. Okay, I need the batting. Did batting you, is the right there. The glue gun is hot, glue right? The glue gun is hot. Let's so we're using a glue gun first. because we wanted it to be something that most people will have. Not everybody has a staple gun or whatever. We're Duct tape would you, work too. We're going to show you how to attach it to the top um, in a little bit so that it's, it's securely fastened to the lid even though it's uh, glued up. So we have this batting that surprisingly enough was purchased at DI. <laughs> 
that's where we buy a lot of our stuff. If you don't have batting, guys, something you can think outside the box is an old pillow. If it's got, just, you know, wash that up, get it all sanitary. You could use pillow fluff to stuff this too. Foam is the best if you have it, but not everybody has it on hand. Okay, so what I need you to do, Zeb, is grab me a pair of scissors, and would you cut... You could even, even if you don't have fabric, you could even have fun with like an old shirt or an old blanket or something too. Um, uh, Penny says they never go fishing without her, her emergency potty bucket. Now that you watch this, Penny, you're going to want to craft up that potty bucket so it's cute for fishing. <laughs> Where are the scissors? I uh, thought I had them. Do you have them over there? Um, the scissors are right there, sweetie. Oh, I walked All right, right by We it. need to cut this to fit that. Okay. Denise said her armoire fell over this morning. Oh, no. So she's, yeah, Denise is really close to where the earthquake happened. Definitely make sure, you guys, if you are in an area, or even if you're not, because we don't really get earthquakes here, that your big pieces of furniture are secured to the wall. We have a big, tall, green craft hutch. A lot of you guys have seen it. We actually have a board behind it, it's, and Deb has it screwed into the studs. It's our tallest piece of furniture, I think. Yep, yeah, it's screwed right into the wall with that stud. That studs in is screwed into studs in the wall, or the board is screwed into studs in the wall, and then... I have the cabinet from the inside screwed into that. So that's a great thing to be thinking about if you have things that are tall, make sure they're secured to the wall. And then it's the other reason why we always use French cleats because that's one of the most secure ways to hang heavy stuff on the walls. Um, Caitlin just dropped the link below for CPS graphics. So if you guys need anything printed and shipped to you and you can't get out right now, um, you can definitely check them out. They can also print, I think they can even like print books and things like that. So they've got lots of stuff they can yeah, do. They do. They do book printing. They also did our vinyl. If you guys have been to the shop and you've seen that big vinyl on our window that says Jamie Ray Vintage, um, they did that and it's held up really well. It actually, I think, is held up better than the sign that we made. I don't know if that's sweetie. You're going to want more padding than that. Well, I'm going to, you're going to wrap it around. I wanted it to fit flush so it's not too poofy over the I know, edge. but that's not enough padding. Oh, you need more? Yeah. This I have is a, two layers. I have a big bump. This is two layers of batting. Let's get real. The batting mushes down over time. All right. Joanne says, I'd rather go through an earthquake than a tornado. That is true. Tornadoes, is, it, you know, it you know, felt like had, the wind was blowing really, really hard, and then it just kind of built and built and built. It lasted probably 10, 15 seconds. The, we had a tornado like a year ago up north. Cause we get yeah. a lot of like crazy we have weird stuff. we have weird weather because of the mountains up here because we're down in the valley and then we've got these mountains that literally within like 15 miles go up to almost 10 11 000 feet right here by us denise says her husband is screwing the armor into the wall and just a heads up if you guys are local we are still going to be open we do not have a ton of foot traffic like maybe 10 people in a day and i think with what's going on, it'll be even less. So for our locals that need to come in and get supplies, we are staying open. All right, I have a template now. We also have a ton of work to do with shipping. So we have work to keep us busy. And thank even you for that, guys. Comes. The website has been busy and we really, really appreciate that. Yeah, it's been awesome. I appreciate everybody that orders on the website because it not only supports us, but every single one of our employees. And we are anxiously and actively working on launching a home decor website that our employees at the shop will help us run. So if for some reason we do have to um, not have the retail store open, we will still be busy selling things here. And what that means for you guys that don't live close is you'll have more access to the things that we carry in the shop. Aside from, we do have the email. And I ship out packages every week from people saying, hey, would you ship this to me? I saw it in a video or whatever. And we ship stuff out all the time. I've shipped out some strange large things too. <laughs> Did you guys remember those three wise men? The wise men have gotten the big lanterns are getting shipped yeah. to California. Next month, the lanterns are being shipped, the giant ones. Um, I've gotten really good at making boxes. I've come a long way. And we actually have a huge wholesale shipment coming today. It's already here. Um, and they are, we're waiting till today to deliver it. So I'm super excited about that. Um, Jen says all of our cabinets flew open, but nothing fell out. And then... Zeb, I got a can of kill spray on your recommendation for those spots. So um, we don't use kills. We use, generally we use shellac. 
but by the, Zinzer Bin, but the oil-based kills can also work. Yeah, the oil-based kills, especially if it's in the spray can, that's like your next best thing, and it should work really well. And so she said that the spray can dribbled down the side. That's one of two things. It either wasn't shook up enough, so it didn't have enough aerosol to spray, or you had a faulty can, because that doesn't generally happen with sprays of... Um, All right, now we've got four layers of padding for... For my... For your needs. I'm Princess and the Pea Man. I need that. Okay. Now, we need to cut this out. This is just like leftover fabric. It's like a really weird piece here. Let me make sure I've cut enough to go around the edges. Can you cut that edge and I'll get the glue gun over here. Um, like I said, we're using glue gun for our stool seat because we want it to be something that you guys could do. If you don't have access to hot glue, you could definitely duct tape this. In fact, I've used duct tape with upholstery projects before. Just fine. Usually on stuff we're keeping for ourselves. Oh, not things I've sold, but in a pinch <laughs> duct tape. I've actually used a combination of hot glue with duct tape because the duct tape holds it while the hot glue dries. There you go. We're, we're getting into life hacks here. Bliss Life says, tune it in, what you making? We are making an emergency bucket stool, <laughs> bucket stool um, but you can also use it for camping, fishing, kids toys, or just an outdoor stool would be good. You know, it'd be great around the fire pit says, um, Violet says, just like camping, but a great idea. Absolutely good for camping. Zeb can tell you I'm not a big camper. Zeb is like all things outdoors. He knows, I actually thought it would be fun to do a DIY video on some basic DIY supplies that you can use to make like emergency preparedness stuff because that's like his time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I get to over explaining things. I'm like, this is why you need this. Zeb, like you give us a tuna fish can, we can make you a Bunsen burner, <laughs> a number 10 can, you got yourself a stove. All right, let's get to hot gluing, Jamie. All right, You're focus. Up. Caitlin <laughs> says she's not a camper either. All right, so I'm just gonna hot glue this and you want to, I feel like it's not super hot yet. It's is it plugged in? Hopefully it's plugged in. <clears throat> Maybe you got too hot. It's been plugged in since we started. All right. Is it good? Should okay, be, I'm gonna go from one side to the other. Maybe I'll squeeze the glue. Because you're stronger than me? Since you're struggling. I'm gonna have you squeeze it and then I'll pull it. We're gonna go on one side so and we're then using the other. high temp glue. Wendy says I'm a seam she's a seamstress, I'm killing her. No, on the other side. Oh. Well, could, we would normally probably staple this. We would just use a staple this. gun. We have one, but like I said, not everybody has one. This is this is this is the everybody can do this quickly craft. All right. When did we stop selling failure chalk mother? It's been like since like, last summer, hasn't it? It's been a it? year. It was last since, April. Yeah, it's been a year. It's been a hot minute. All right. I'm gonna do two layers of glue. You're right. This is squeezing out hard. Like it's yeah, so hot. I wasn't making it up. It's like making my hand shake to squeeze it out. It's a workout. You gotta stay in shape. All right. I'm just gonna place the glue. You're gonna have to work on all the puckers. There we go. Now it's coming out good. Maybe we just had old glue. All right. Okay. Focus. I am focusing. <laughs> Where'd I go with that glue stick? Here it is. All right, we're good. Hold on. We should probably move this so they can actually see what we're doing. Oh, yeah, you got it right front and There side. you go. So you can see, this is the same thing. If you were using a nail gun, hold on a second. If you were using a nail gun, I always go on one side and then the other side. And then we'll go top to bottom. Even on round stuff, square, whatever. Um, and you want to pull it. I want to show them. You're going to pull it nice and tight. There's a few puckers, but when we do the opposite direction, it'll take it up. It'll make it better. I would go closer to the edge, but okay. Well, when you're pulling it over, I'm adding a couple layers of glue. Donna says, first time I've been able to catch you guys live in months. All right. Welcome. Uh, Maggie says, my idea of camping is sitting in the backyard. Said we're not. You got to work quick. I know, but that's not what I was going to do. Okay. It works. It doesn't what were you going to do? I like to go from the middle and then do these sides. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't know that that is actually necessary, but I just feel like that works. All right, we got one one right here that needs to come over lots of I should glue. say that Zeb is not, you know how when he stencils and he's better than me, <laughs> upholstery is not his time to shine. No. I've done way more glue gun work than he has. 
All right, pull it. That's why I was doing the glue. <laughs> yeah, well, you were, I was going to pull it. <laughs> Do the other side, and then we'll come back. All right, here you go. Oh! Here's the middle. Um, Sally Von Swall says, if I order paint today, when would it ship to Phoenix? I'm a teacher, so I'm now home. Um, we're shipping in, like, four-ish business days, getting things out, and you're not too far. So we are, right now, we're a little bit busy because of the paintbrush sale, but we will get it to you as soon as we can, Miss Sally. If you guys have urgent needs, like you need paint ASAP. Also, thanks for the super chat. Yeah, thanks for the super chat. If you guys have urgent needs, like you're in the middle of a project, you've got to get something finished, you can always email customercare at jamierayvintage.com, and if we can help you, we will. All right, we've got lots of glue. we got to work quick. I'm working quick. Luckily, before all this happened, we hired an extra shipper. So we've got extra hands on deck to get orders out. Hands on deck and time to shine are the words of the day. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. Put that there. Zeb is in a hurry today, too. I know. He's been in a hurry the last, yesterday when we were filming. Did you guys watch our dollar store video? If you didn't, make sure you check that out. Um, he's like, we were in a hurry because we were doing our business coaching later and using that video to show our business coaching uh, group how to edit. And he's like, we gotta get this done. So like in between shots, he's like, focus, focus, Jamie. And I'm like- I was not saying it like that, but you were definitely having a squirrel moment with your phone and like everything going on on social media. I have ADD. It's not a secret. All right, let's let's make sure all the edges are good. Let's show them the top. Look at that. Ta-da! So what I like to do once I get the top upholstered is I like to come back and just add extra glue anywhere where there might be a spot. And let me tell you a little pro tip about hot glue. Before I hired somebody to sew for me, when I used to make pillows, I would sew the edges. But you know how like there's that little spot that you either have to whip stitch or whatever and always looks dumb? I used hot glue. Hot glue to close it up. Now they do make one for fabric, so that's the one I used. And I have washed pillows, even thrown them in the dryer on low and never had the hot glue fail. I've had seams come apart where I sewed it, but never where the hot glue was, so. There you go. Now we don't do that anymore because I have a proper seamstress, but back in the day. I'm just grabbing screws. That's how I did it. Just if anyone's wondering. My friend Kim Bell is like this master seamstress and it kills her every time I say that. But you know, sometimes people don't know how to sew. So you gotta have ways to work around it. I'm just gluing these edges down, making sure that everything's secure. The more glue, the better. Okay, so what I've got here is just uh, inch and a quarter number six screws, and we're going to oh, run you, these you down through. you got to paint the lip of this, don't you? Uh, oh, yeah. got to paint the Or lip. do you, you know what we could do? We could hot glue some trim. There we go. We'll cover it with trim. Because guess what I have in my bucket? I have trim in look, my there's some trim right fabric here. bucket. Yeah, look. Leftover trim. You did a whole couch with that trim on it. When I do upholstery, like big projects, I just buy the whole reams at Hobby Lobby because with the 40% off coupon, it makes it like less than a dollar. And I rather have too much than too little. And if you guys have ever seen my upholstery videos, you know that I use this to cover up staples. And I'm not a professional, so I have a lot of staples. Wider is better because it hides a lot of upholstery mistakes, just in case you ever do a project. <laughs> Keep that in mind. The little teeny tiny um, oh, I'm not trim. What? The little teeny tiny trim. I'm not using off. the cordless drill today. This is the old Black & Decker. I've had this drill since Harrington was one. He's replaced the cord or the plug on this. Your dad, That's all it your is. dad actually replaced the My dad the plug. did that. Okay. Mariah says she's so glad she doesn't have to sew every time she comes because we have a seamstress. My seamstress actually stopped sewing, but I have a friend that sews, and so she's going to do some projects for me. I need to drop off some stuff to her. I do know how to sew. Let the record sew. I can sew okay. In a pinch. Our son took sewing, our senior in high school, and he made himself some pajama shorts. He was very proud of those pajama shorts. Yeah. Well, when he first started sewing, he had a cute girl help him. <laughs> and then he figured it out. 
it seems like sometimes that's the driving force behind classes like that with uh, young men. Mariah says, Jane used to have the sewing machine out ready when she got there. The true story. <laughs> true story. So if you didn't want to add the trim like we're going to do, you could probably just paint that edge. But paint it before you upholster it. All right, is that secure now? That's secure. And the other thing about screwing it on like that is that it's going to hold that fabric in place too that you just hot glued. Yeah, that fabric's not so going that anywhere. That fabric is not going anywhere, lest anybody be worried about the hot glue. And it's very secure. The 16 year old drill works. Right. <laughs> okay. Next, uh, I'm going to be adding the trim to cover up this. And you want to start working on that bucket? Yeah, is it I'm dry? probably going to have to heat gun it a little. It's not dry. You can see it's starting to dry in some places, but we're going to heat gun it real quick. All right. And do, that'll go. Do we have a, I need to cut this. Can I have the scissors? Yes, scissors. And are... sometimes I need to heat seal it, but I'm going to see if I can cut I it. I don't enough. have my lighter. It's okay. There is a lighter here. in the drawer we use for candles, but that's okay. If you have a problem with your trim fraying, just get out a lighter, be careful, and you can heat seal it and that'll keep it from fraying. You can also run a little bead of glue across the edge. And when it's almost dry, you can flatten it down and that will keep the edge of your trim from fraying. The skinny trim, like the skinny, skinny gross grain trim, I think that's what it's called, that is the worst at fraying. All right, let's see. All right. Let's see if we have any questions. I'm going to get this bucket dry. So we can stencil. Hi, kids. Does extra bond work with DIY paint? We have not tried it out. But I can't get, divulge any information. But I will tell you that this Saturday, new DIY paint products are coming out. We already have some of them here. And there will be some things you might be interested in regards to that. I'm saying nothing else because Debbie's like sworn me to secrecy. All right, that's almost dry. It's not hot anymore. So I'm just going to take that hot glue and mush it down and that'll keep the edge from fraying. So you can either use hot glue or like a uh, lighter or even a match. <laughs> Jacqueline wants to know if we felt the earthquake yet. Yeah, a lot. We felt it a lot. <laughs> My kids were all asleep. Eliza's like, oh, that's what that was. I thought it was the train because he lived by the tracks. I was like, that's no. That's one heck of a train going by. No, sweetheart. It was not the train. So we live right along the Wasatch Fault. It runs from, like, Idaho along the mountains all the way down to, like, uh, past Nephi on the I-15. Did you put in here already? Um, I had it in there, but it looks... Oh, yeah, we probably used it. Okay. Stock off on hot glue, people. At home, we have the really long glue sticks. Well, with Eliza home, she's already been crafting with the boys a bunch. Who knows what we're going to need. Here? Mariah is on here talking about the creative uh, business coaching. Mariah is our... Uh, Mariah's the one that keeps everybody yeah. in the group on... Uh, like aware of what's going on. Because we're so busy, I'm smart enough to know that when we decided to do business coaching, we needed to hire somebody to handle making sure everybody had what they needed. She also uh, organizes all of our videos by month. So every month at the month's end, she takes all of our unit videos for channel members, or sorry, coaching membership, and puts them in a file for organization. Oh, my sister Deborah's on here. She says, Dad says, good morning. We're watching from rainy Prescott Valley, Arizona. It's, it's raining. raining up here, too. We had heck. So we had earthquake. We got, like, the social distancing with COVID-19. And hail. And we had hail this morning. I was, on my, <laughs> I was picking up my kids' um, packets for school because they're teachers. They're doing it online, but they also have packets. And it was hailing on me as I was running in and out. Like we barely made it here on time because we had to go take care of that. We also went by the farmhouse to grab this bucket and make sure that everything was still standing. You know, I was griping a while back about the structural engineer and the upgrades he was having me do to the old part of the house. And because of the earthquake, I was reading this morning, 52% uh, of all structures in the valley here along the Wasatch Fault 
do not have proper uh, earthquake reinforcement and are at risk of collapse. But guess who has proper earthquake? But my engineer, that was like one of his main focuses. He's like, this. He's, he basically had me build it so that if there is an earthquake, the outside brick walls are designed to fall away because they're not supporting the roof anymore, and the roof and the walls inside the house will stay standing. So, so we, were, we were feeling pretty grateful and less complaining about that this morning. I know, sometimes you don't like stuff, but if there's an earthquake, we'll stay out of our mud room, because that's going to have an interior, an interior block wall, because our mud room is where the addition connects to the old house. Yeah. So... That, and that's also where the water fountain goes. We plan on installing a water fountain so the kids can get drinks and not waste 452 cups. But, but the same engineer also made sure that the, uh, the structure on the addition plans was good. So, you know, we're, we're set. Yeah, he's he's got me way set. over building that thing. That's and now we, I'm super happy about it. That's why we super appreciate all the online orders. Because I'm like, just keep them coming. We got to get this house finished. <laughs> I love the location of where our farmhouse is. Because it's super close to the kids' schools, which makes me feel good. It's, it's literally like walking distance from the shop like we could walk home from here yeah easy so just no locust thank goodness Zeb not yet not yet it's too oh cold Karen still. Karen are you coming to see us today I think she said she was <laughs> I don't know um let's see oh it's been Sarah Belinda says she's in Arlington it hit hard at 4 30 her backyard is like a swimming pool so should we talk about the thing we were talking about earlier with the stuff? The thing with the stuff? The stuff that we made yesterday. Who's that, our, who's that in a truck here? I don't know. Maybe someone's coming uh, to the shop. Oh, maybe. No? Maybe someone drove Jean here. I was going to say, maybe it's Jean's husband. What stuff? The stuff we made yesterday. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, so go ahead. You do it. So we, we made all that uh, Dollar Tree hack stuff in yesterday's video. And gave some pretty great ideas, I think, for upcycling really cheap-looking items. Um, if you haven't seen it, go catch that video. There's the top. But it's kind of cute. Yeah, it worked out. A little mushroom. But we're going to do a giveaway with that stuff, and we'll ship it wherever we need to ship it. So all you have to do to get some of those items, we're just going to randomly give them. Like, doesn't next matter. Next week who says. on Waste Not Wednesday, we'll yeah. announce the winner. So next week, let's get a date on here. So comment know. on this video, give it a thumbs up, you gotta like it, and you gotta be subscribed, and comment on this video, and we'll be sending that stuff out. Enter to win some of the things we made Yes, thing that we completed on our dollar store video is, and we'll link this that thing. dollar store video below, but you need to comment on this video, so you just comment giveaway and whatever your favorite was. We that have five things. We have five, five things. things to give away, and next Waste Not Wednesday, we'll mail them out. We thought, you know, wouldn't it be fun to take something that we made for a video and mail it out to people right now? A little excitement. Nothing big. They weren't expensive, obviously, Dollar Tree stuff, but... We put a lot of love into them. So, no promises that they'll last forever, but we will um, mail those out to you guys. So, once you've uh, watched that other video, then you just need to comment giveaway on which one was your favorite. So, I forgot that we had talked about that this morning. All right. All right, I think I'm ready for stenciling. All right. I'm, I'm like super, look how cute that is already, even if you just left it like that. And I did want to show them just a little teaser. We made this yesterday from Dollar. It's a plastic butter dish from the Dollar Store. Dollar Tree butter dish. That's probably my favorite. <laughs> like, it doesn't look like plastic anymore. Violet says, absolute cutest porter potty ever. Yes, this could be an emergency toilet okay. if you need it to be. All right, so we've got it dry. That's going to stencil it next. The top is made. So this is new spring stencil here. This is the farmhouse lettering, the three inch. Now, do you want to do the, do you want me to do the wildflower while you pull out the letters? Um, sure. Because I think we need to do the flowers first so we can see where we need to put the letters. Were we going to do um, dark gray? Yep, I have I have the uh, weathered wood. Okay, all out. right. I am going to be stenciling. So if you comment a question, now is not the time. Wait till I'm done stenciling. You can comment giveaway if you want, but wait a hot minute because I'm not going to be answering questions while I'm stenciling. We all know that stenciling live is not where I shine. 
All right, people can mostly see. Here, let's do. do it on the side. How are we gonna do this? Tape it, and here I'll help you get set up while we get the letters out. What do we want to make it say? I thought it was gonna say like "keep calm." Keep calm. <laughs> I felt like that was a good. So option. I'm gonna. These bottom ones are gonna be cut off, but I'm just gonna use the top of the bucket to line it up. Okay. And we'll, that way it'll be- Well, why don't, you know what? Maybe we should, because it's so big, go ahead and do the keep calm so we'll know where not to put the flowers. Okay. So let's do your letters first and then I'll do this. Okay, so we're gonna do the wording first. It would be cute if you were prepared ahead of time and you had a, enough time to do all the letters to stencil like a scripture verse would be really great to have on this. So these are the letters. They're real thin and tall, and they're fun. they're a lot of fun. Yeah, these are. I can't say the brand of pottery that they're mimicked after because that would probably be a copyright issue. But you know, if you follow farmhouse style pottery, you know what these letters look like. I'm gonna leave it there. Angela says the thermometer is adorable, and then she wants to know if we're gonna cord around the handle. I'm not gonna cord around the handle, but I thought I might tie some ribbon on each side because that would cutesy it up. But I do want the handle to stay like super uh, functional. You need to be able to grab it quick. Oh, oh Karen gave us uh, scripture Colossians one twenty seven. That would be a good one. If we do another one, maybe we'll do that. Problem with scriptures is there are lots and lots of words, so we're just gonna say keep calm. All right, I need a P. Found it. Okay. Mama Spoon says, it might be Dollar Tree stuff you were altering, but the fact you made it with love makes it priceless. We did. We actually had a pretty good time. It was fun. Although, I didn't eat breakfast when we started, so when my hair was up like this, I hadn't eaten. And then we had lunch, when, and then I put my hair down, so I was much happier. I don't know if you can tell that in the video. But towards the end, when my hair is down instead of up, that was after I ate. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to raise the camera up so you guys can see what we're doing here close. We'll see how this goes. A little shaking, sorry. Let's see. Are you going to put the cord on the camera? Well, <laughs> Crescent Moon Cottage says keep calm and white wax all the things. We're, pro we're actually going to seal this with Big Top just to make it a little bit more durable than wax. But um, I actually had considered white waxing. Here's a, little, here's a little shot of the thermometer since everybody's loving it. I also love the This was the easiest one to do and it was like... So it's one it was of the a best dollar ones. and scrap wood and yeah. like maybe an ounce or two of paint. So if you have a boring thermometer at home, that one would be a great one to just do a quick craft you could bust out. Janet said she did notice that my hair was up and then it was down. I actually got a headache from having it up, so that's why I pulled it down. <laughs> what I thought was super funny was when Jamie referred to the thermometer project as the thermostat. She says that right at the beginning when they're getting the wood ready. You know, Zeb, what did you mess up yesterday? Oh, you said thrift said, store instead of dollar I said thrift store instead of dollar, dollar tree. Everything we have comes from thrift store. All right, I need some paint. If you could okay. get me some out there. I yeah, think okay. I've got this mostly centered. Mostly. All right. There you go. So we're using weathered wood to stencil with. To keep it simple, we're just doing a two-tone paint finish. So do you want me to hold that bucket? Um, I'm just making sure the handle is down flat because that's what I'm using to kind of center this. Okay. He's using his whole body to stencil. Serious business. Um, we're just using one color for the background and one color for words because the words because it keeps it simple. And I like to have a contrast. So we have the lighter paint and then the darker um, the darker weathered wood for the stencil. What stencil did we use on the thermostat? It's actually one of our new ones. It's called Flower Garden. And what it is is a whole sheet of different flowers. That way you can arrange them and create a myriad of designs with one stencil. A lot of the new stencils that came out with our 2020 release last Friday um, have a whole sheet of different things. So that way you guys can make your own designs. It makes them more versatile instead of just being like, one thing you can you know fit your space because i always find like with stencils sometimes they don't fit your space right and then you're stuck with what it is so if you have a bunch of different designs you can fill up however big you need to oh princess anna said scripture verse for you be still and know that i am god that's, Ooh, a, good that's one. a lot of stenciling i'd have to lay that yeah. out well we're gonna have keep calm <laughs> but that is a good one 
Deborah said, just turn the sound up to 80 so dad could hear us. My dad is turning 87 in June, and he is a little bit hard of hearing. Dad, did you put your ears on? <laughs> when my dad's at the house, sometimes he doesn't wear his hearing aids because my kids are a little loud. All right, so that's a slightly off center, which is part of my plan. That's all right. Keep, and then we'll put calm. Are you going to put calm around the edge? I'm going to put calm like right here. Oh, okay. Underneath like it, over a little farther, so that my off center ring works. <laughs> Margie says after the Dollar Tree video, she ran to Dollar Tree before it closes for two weeks and spent forty six dollars. I usually only spend that much when I'm getting ready for Christmas. Stocking stuffers at the Dollar Tree is where it's at. <laughs> they also have a really good candy selection there. Um, let's see. Oh, Stacy says she says the same thing to her mom about putting her ears on. So here's an interesting factoid. Uh, yesterday at two o'clock, a friend of mine posted an article that the DI, which if you guys watch our thrift hauls, was closing for COVID. Um, so we had a video that we went live for business coaching, so I had to wait till we were done. And when I got there, not only were they closing, but they were closing early at six. So I was able to fill my cart there and I actually made it to one more DI and bought a bunch of stuff there. So hope we have definitely enough stuff for this week's uh, thrift haul, which possibly might be, um, at this point we're planning on pre-recording because I'm supposed to um, fly to Arizona on Friday. For we'll my see sister. if that happens. Yeah, we're hoping that everything's good. Um, but anyway, so we've got our thrift haul for this Saturday. We, you know, some people are prepping with water and toilet paper and I was prepping with junk. I'm contemplating breaking it up into like two weeks worth of thrift hauls. We but, might have some lean thrift hauls here for a little bit, which means more crafting at the end. But here's what's so stinking cute. We sent out a text yesterday to all of our employees and was it Wendy or was it Jean? Wendy or Jean was like, I'll go around my house and find some things that I needed to get rid of and bring those to the shop. So I just thought that was sweet that our employees were looking out for us. But we're coming up with some fun ideas to do uh, while the shops are closed. So if you can think of anything you'd like to see us do on Saturdays, if we don't have a thrift haul, we definitely could use some ideas. All right, one more letter, then we'll I'll No show more you Hobby Lobby for Sandy. Sorry. I'm not, I'm flying out of a, a, not an international airport. The likelihood of a lot of people being on the plane is slim to none. So The and, likelihood of anyone being yeah, on the plane. There's only one airline that flies out of this teeny tiny airport in Provo. Keep calm. There we go. Okay, now for the flowers. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Deborah, Deborah says she needs the stencil I used with the cute flower. She has lots of excess wood. Um, I see lots of thermometers in my future. Deborah, I think with, so my sister Deborah lives in the country club in the Prescott area where I'm from. And there's a significant amount of senior citizens there. And every <laughs> single one of them has a hummingbird feeder and a thermostat. So I think you could sell those like hot cakes you could like set up a stand at the POA building and people would buy them like crazy because they love thermostats. Okay, can you hold the bucket yeah. steady for me? Absolutely. All right. Uh, Jamie and Zeb, will the thrift stores be closed due to the virus? Um, yeah, so DI did just close. Some of the other ones are open, but you guys, we have so much junk. Like we, we have can, lots of junk sitting around. We you can just go may, thrifting in our garage. You just may have already seen it, but we'll show you stuff. <laughs> we will We will still be live every Saturday night because we have lots of fun stuff and we love, this, that's like our favorite video. If, if Jamie goes to Arizona, we will pre-record it, but it will be, it will be a um, premiere, Premiere, which you'll be able to comment in real time and, and we can comment on. back like no, in actually, the chat. You'll probably actually get better response to your comments because Zeb will be on there responding to comments in real time. All right, I might need a little more, more dab paint. of paint. I've okay. got this held down you if you want to pour me some more paint. Yeah. Okay, well, I can hear that Jean is here because the Lysol is spraying. <laughs> We have, uh, All right, can you hold that we sold, so Saturday we actually had a very busy day at the store and we sold some furniture. So some of that is being picked up today 
Um, and then I also have some people, like somebody is coming to purchase. Did you guys see the candle holder that I painted with the flowers? If you haven't seen the finished project, make sure you look on community or Instagram because it actually turned out pretty good. I have somebody coming to pick that up today. I actually need to put a little bit more clear wax on it. You know, this textured bucket, oh, you slid. I slid? A lot. Oh, how was it my fault? You were holding that side while I was dabbing. All right. It'll be all right. This side will just be a little bit off right there. Where do you want me to hold it? Just hold it right here, but don't slide your hand so down the, the side. Top? Not the top, yeah. Okay, got it. All right. It'll be okay. I'm, it's a bucket. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing any thrifting in Arizona. I literally am flying in one evening, going to my sister's. Um, she's going through the temple for the first time in Arizona, and I'm going to do that. And it's limited people. It's only eight of us that they will allow to be there and it's my siblings All right, you're slipping sorry in. and then i am flying home sunday morning so there won't be any uh, public situations for me all right so even, somehow we even with the slipping it worked out we're doing good all right let's just keep going all the way around that the edge there i showed him Showed him like this. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Keep calm. We're going to do some more here. Keep calm and carry on. So right. where's the top? Let's show them with the top on it. All right. So you guys get an idea of what it's going to look like. We're going to finish the whole thing, though, because we got enough time. So that's what it'll look like once it's all done. That is seriously the cutest little five-gallon bucket that's ever. Fun little bucket going on. All right. Renee says our thrift stores are less expensive than Arizona Renee Mott. Actually, um, when we went to Goodwill, they had good pricing, at least where the ones we went to. And there are DIs in Arizona, and the pricing was really similar. Because I think they have like a master price sheet, and they kind of keep things similar across Do you want me to just carry this same stencil across on this? Sure. Um, somebody says, what does going through the temple mean? Um, so you just learn about like where we came from meaning like adam and eve like things from the bible and just covenant that you're going to do things that you know you should be doing things like that there's like a long explanation but longer than what i could put on this video whole classes before you whole go classes. there's <laughs> actually some videos our church puts out on youtube so maybe zeb could drop those links below if you're interested those are going to give you the best information because People that aren't members of our church or used to be members sometimes post things that are not correct. And so our church has come out with some really great videos. You know, keep Oh, Kaylin says Plant Bar AZ does not have new products right now. They are They're just closed. doing deliveries and are closed, so we are not shipping um, new stuff there right now. They do have access to like the existing stuff they have, so and they are making deliveries in the area. So if you live close to Plant Bar, you can call them or send them a message on Facebook and they can drop off stuff to you if you need it. They're, and they were pretty decently stocked and they've got a lot of our products there. Renee says she can't wait until yard sale time. Yeah, we may be Facebook marketplacing it up with our hazmat suits. Curbside pickup's a real thing. Yep, we have decided that if this shop, if we are required to close the doors, that we will offer um, curbside pickups here, or probably back porch, because we have a giant back porch here. So if people want to buy stuff, we can leave it there with our name on it. And we have a camera, so we know when people come and go. Um, and we, you know, quite possibly could do delivery. But at this point, we're so busy online that delivery is not happening. We will also be doing lots of videos at the shop, showing what we have in stock. And again, we are working on getting some of the things that we can ship listed online here in the next week or two. So definitely watch out for that. Jessica says, yes, yard sales can't wait. I am not like an avid yard seller much anymore because we're so busy, but if there's a yard sale in my normal travels, you know I'm gonna oh, stop. Oh man, she like rubbernecks that <laughs> so hard and turns around. There was one down the street from this shop not that long ago, and Zeb was on his way, and he saw my SUV go whoop. <laughs> He's like, yep, I knew you were going to stop. All right, I need you to hold this again. This is getting all kinds of shifty. Hold on. Is this, like, current? Hold on. Just a second. 
Yeah, oh, it's Brendan. I'm just trying to, there we go. All right. Oh, now we're current. Oh, it was behind. Can they get a membership in Germany? Yes. So you can be a channel member, like a regular channel member, or you can be a business coaching member. We have people all the way in Australia that do business coaching with us. And if you are just signing up, you can catch up on all of our units. We do a video every week. It's a lot to catch up on. And there's You'll a lot be very of things. busy. Yep. We've got <laughs> Facebook videos, Instagram videos, videos on shipping, all kinds of stuff. It's been actually a lot of fun. Oops, I shifted. Oops, I shifted again. I'm shifty. It's okay. It's working out on this round bucket. So this is the wildflower stencil. It's not a new one, but we may bust out the um, flower garden stencil to fill in some gaps. That is one of our new floral stencils. And if you have a JRB stencil retailer close to you, you might want to message them even if they're not open and see if they've ordered the new stencils because they might be able to do curbside pickup or whatever to get you the stencils you need. And we have stencils in Germany and in um, Australia and Canada. All right, is that almost, we're almost there. Okay, well, I think one more wildflower one and more then we right can here. use the new one on the front. Okay. And then I will show them how to seal it on this side where this is already dry. So this one's not going to get a full flower situation. Okay. Can you do a music note decoupage project? So we just did. If you have you watched the video that we did on the mannequin, we use sheet music to decoupage. So if you haven't checked out our mannequin video, definitely do that. You could just type in Jamie Ray vintage decoupage or mannequin. It Manic should probably mannequin show up. Or, or just check our most recent videos. It was what last week? Talk and hold. Talk and hold. <laughs> Talk and hold. Um, yeah, it was last week that we did that. I think it was the first printable in March, and then there's another one coming out. Here, probably not, not, uh, I don't know, I'd have to look at the dates. It might be Tuesday. Shaky bucket. I'm like, I'm holding it. I'm not shifting. You're doing good. You have to be careful. You have to say shifting correctly because it could sound like something else. So I actually, one of my favorite combos, when you put this uh, weathered wood on the apothecary, mm -hmm. it almost makes it look like a mint and brown. Oh, like mint chip ice cream? Yeah. It's a good color combo. Don't worry, everything always goes back to food for me. Jean just opened the front door. She's putting the open sign out there. I'm glad that Zeb redid that because that will help people know. I don't think people are going to be like shopping for extras, but definitely coming in for supplies. Yeah, I can't forget to get your little toy bucket out there, just in case. Oh yes. Did you guys see our video last week? We made a toy bucket and we sanitized a bunch of thrift store toys. So if any kids do come in, we don't, they, they won't touch our stuff. We'll give them a toy for each hand. Debbie, I was talking to Debbie Beard. <laughs> I was telling her about it. I was like, yep, we won't, don't want any Corona hands on our stuff. So we're going to have toys. And she just died laughing. And I told all my employees, if the kids touch the bucket, everything in the bucket gets washed. All right. We got flowers. We're playing Twister with that bucket. Yeah, I know. We need to do maybe some little yeah, ones Yeah, so right I wanted here. to use the wildflower one. Is it over there? I thought I grabbed it. It's right here. Keep calm. We haven't washed it from yesterday. That's okay. The DIY paint soaks off real easy. Okay, so I would suggest do the ones across the bottom that have like leaves like a, on them. Like a leaf? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the new flower garden one. Oh, we got a new channel member, Krista Happy? Hap? Hap? Welcome. Make sure you hit up community and scroll back. Look for the posts that say channel members. Those will have links to printables as well as our live videos. Our next channel member live will be next week. We'll announce that um, in community so you guys will be able to see it if you're a channel member. So printables go back for two months. Yeah, so we have printables 
for two months, we leave them up. So if you join today, scroll back so you can find them. We have some fun printables, postcards. We have a sheep that was really popular. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we did the music sheets that we decoupage. That was a recent printable you'd have access to and a horse. I think those are the four ones from the last two months. Needed a smaller stencil brush. Renee says, what is a printable? So for our channel members, one of the perks is twice a month, we upload a printable that our channel members can print out up to a hundred copies. You should go grab the- And use uh, them commercially. What do you think? You should go grab the postcards and show them oh, so that okay. they have an example. I can do that real quick. All right, so I just broke out the smaller one. I'll show you guys here in a sec because it's kind of hard to see on camera right now. Um, but this is great for doing like multicolor stencils or small stencils where you don't want to carry over the design. You just want to do the one little piece of the stencil. All right, I'll show you these two here. Little ones. I'm trying to get the stem down below. Might need to add a little extra down there. But, you know, for a little five gallon bucket, this thing's turning out pretty cool. All right. Got a couple more with stems on here. Oh, you didn't grab the whole thing? I would have just grabbed the whole thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't. That's okay. You can show them that. So this is one of the printables that comes, Zeb comes did. Comes in a sheet of four. Comes in a sheet of four. And then we actually sell them at the shop for $1.95. And Zeb hand stamped them. And then they have like a little display that they hang on. And people come in and pick them up. This one's done on cardstock. But you could print them out just on regular paper too. Is this like cream cardstock? Yep. And you can, you can like stain them or tea stain them yeah, or whatever. Yeah, tea stain them or whatever. We actually did in our video, I think, for channel members. Like I did a full color one with like all kinds of stuff. All right, I'm going back. Can you paint that back? Yeah. All right. We are almost done. If you guys are still watching from the beginning, thank you, thank you. Um, also, you can pick up all these products at jamierayvintage.com. I should have put that in the beginning of the video, but now you know. I think we said website, but we didn't Yeah, say. Seb always puts the links in the description box when we're no longer live, but it's good to let you know. Miss Barrett says, I had to pause for a bit, but I hopped on one Seb was helping you upholster the seat. He hit the nerve that controls her OCD. It actually turned out really good. See, you don't have to be a perfectionist to get it done. I do suggest using a non-stripe or a pattern where it has to be perfect. The polka dot is great because no matter how you put this on here, it always looks centered. <laughs> Stripes are sometimes problematic because they go crooked or like if you use a fabric with a definite pattern. <laughs> All right. Hi, Annika from Sweden. She says she's Estonian. All right. Yes, our sign will be fine in the rain. And Zeb sealed it. It's yeah, an old door. I sealed it a bunch, and it's an old door. Like, right. when I say a bunch, it's got like eight coats on it. All right, let's show up. I need to do that to our front sign that I put on the building because that one did, was hastily sealed and it has not weathered well. So, we got to repaint it this summer. Renee, um, the printable is only going to show up in community if you're a channel member. So, um, I don't see a bird by your name, so you're probably not. So for the channel membership we, that we do that's $5 a month, that's an extra perk for channel membership. And we do two extra live videos for channel membership and the printable. So that's probably why you can't find it. Yeah. If we put that in there in community for channel members. All right, let's get this. Let's put the lid and everything on. Yeah, and then I'm going to show you guys sealing it real quick. Renee, um, she says she thought you may have signed up either under a different account or maybe like a credit card changed or whatever that happened. So definitely um, email. Yeah, we actually had a bunch of people at the first of the year that got uh, their email membership if, got canceled because credit cards were renewing and things like that. Yeah, email us if you see it on your credit card statement, but you can't log in. We'll try to help you. Okay, so I need the big top. I'm just, and then I'm just giving them done. the close up not a regular bucket anymore. That's right. This, this uh, five-gallon bucket has been DIY'd. 
All right, and our paint from stenciling is almost completely dry, but you do want to make sure it's all the way dry before you seal it because it will smear. All right, big top. Yep. Okay, so I'm using, did, no, that looks okay. I'm using big top because it may be like in the weather or whatever, a big top is a little bit more. It's got a little more sheen to it. All right, here's the, the ticket though. Big top is water. The paint is water soluble because this is water based. So when you put this on here, you're gonna go across it and you're gonna stop. Do not overwork it or you will smear your paint. You can always come back after you've done a coat and fix anything or any spots that maybe you missed. It's gonna dry clear and then usually, I mean, one coat is will get the paint sealed and then you can start going thicker yeah, coats after have, that. Oops, I'm putting a little too much on my brush. Sorry guys, I'm leading you down the path that does not rock. But don't push too hard and don't overwork that paint. Sometimes people are worried about perfection and then they overwork the paint and smear it. Thin coats are best. Let it dry completely and then you can come back and do a second coat. Yep. All right guys, thank you for watching today's live. I hope this inspires you to find a number five bucket, whether you've got food storage or old nails in it, turn it into a cute little stool for decor, for storage, camping, or if you need to make a 72 hour kit where you put your emergency supplies in here in case of natural disaster, you'll have a place to sit and a place to store. Also, don't forget to comment for the giveaway next week. Jamie mentioned the dates and the date will be down in the description. So if you're watching this on the replay, you still have a chance for the next seven days. That's right. We love you guys. Thank this you video, for joining. comment on this video. Make sure you're subscribed and thumbs up. I probably should wait till the paint dries on this other side. All right, guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Love you. Subscribe for, to Jamie Ray. Hold on. Don't end it. <laughs> Subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye guys. Stay safe. Love you, love you.